welcome to the 8th module of chapter electricity in this module we are going to study some numericals based on the chapter electricity an electric heater having a resistance equal to 5 ohm is connected to electric source if it produces 180 joules of heat in 1 second find the potential difference across the electric heater that is the question so first of all we can write what is a given data from the question so it is given that resistance is equal to resistance r is equal to 5 ohm and it is connected to a source and it produces a heat of 180 joule so here heat produced is equal to 180 joule and what is the time given here in this question time t is equal to 1 second now we have to find out what is the potential difference across the electric heater you know that if you want to find out the potential difference with the help of ohms law you can find out v is equal to ir but do you have what is the value for i here no but r is given so we can find out what is i from the given data you know that h is equal to i square rt so you can write here 180 joule is equal to i square into r resistance 5 into 1 so you can get 180 divided by 5 5 into 1 is 5 is equal to i square so 180 by 5 will give you 36 so 36 is equal to i square so what is i value root of 36 that is 6 ampere so we got the value for current i now shall we calculate uh, what is the potential difference of this particular circuit yes we can do it with the help of ohms law so v is equal to i r i you already got 6 into resistance 5 you have it in the question so 6 into 5 gives you 30 so 30 volt will be the answer how can three resistors of resistance 2 ohm 3 ohm 6 ohm be connected to give a total resistance of 4 ohm and 1 ohm so here in this question it is given that we have got three resistors having resistances 2 ohm 3 ohm and 6 ohm and we can connect in any manner you want so as to get the total resistance of 4 ohm and 1 ohm so we can see what may, what can be the combination of resistors uh, we can do either we can connect three resistors in series right 2 ohm 3 ohm 6 ohm can be connected in series or we can connect three in parallel this can be connected in three parallel or else you can connect one in series to the combination parallel combination likewise it can be okay so first of all we can see while connecting in which manner we will get the resistance of 4 ohm and 1 ohm here yeah. we connect the three resistors in parallel that is 2 ohm 3 ohm and 6 ohm like this you will be getting the effective resistance as 1 ohm let us see okay so if you connect the three in parallel what is 1 by rp 1 by rp means this is the equation for finding out the effective resistance when resistors are connected in series equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 here we have got three resistors right so we can substitute 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 taking the lcm you'll get it as 6 so 2 into 3 here into 2 so you'll be having the answer 3 plus 2 plus 1 so what will be coming here 1 by rp is equal to 6 by 6 so rp is equal to again 6 by 6 you will be getting 1 ohm okay so how can we connect for getting the uh, effective resistance 1 ohm with the help of these three resistors by connecting all of them in parallel now we can see how uh, will be the effective resistance when we are connecting 
two in parallel and one in series. And you have to be very careful. The combination you have to see here. You have to first take 3 ohm and 6 ohm in parallel. And to this combination you have to take the other resistor 2 ohm in series. Okay. So first of all we can see what is effective resistance when two uh, resistors are connected in parallel. You know that 1 by Rp is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 which is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6. So you will be getting 6 as the LCM. So 3 into 2 right. 2 plus 1 by 6 that is 3 by 6. So what is Rp equal to 6 by 3 which is equal to 2 ohm. So this combination alone we have the resistance as 2 ohm. Now this combination is in series with 2 ohm right. So what will be the resistance R is equal to R1 plus R2. And here R1 is 2 and R2 is this combination Rp right. So we can write R. 1 plus Rp, this Rp, okay. So, you will have the answer R1 is 2 plus 2, you will be getting it as 4 ohm, okay. So, when we connect two resistors, that is 6 ohm and 3 ohm in parallel and to that combination, if you connect the other one having resistance 2 ohm in series, you will get the effective resistance as 4 ohm. Thank you.